When I was a kid, I didn't have access to the outdoor space in the way in which I think we think of it today. With, you know, the rooftop tent, the backpacking pack, the rock climbing gear. My access to the outdoors was gardening in the backyard with my grandma, with her teaching me how to plant flowers and produce. To go from I garden in my backyard or I camp in my backyard to I camp in a forest or on a mountain, I think that should be available to everybody and that there's not only one way to be outside. Hi, I'm Abby. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that there's any one way to be outside. I believe you can camp in a rooftop tent, you can camp in a tent on the ground, you can even use a woolly bear. I don't believe that there is one way to be outside, but I do believe in all people being able to access it in a way that brings them to life. I think having the experience as a kid and having limited access to the outdoors through not having the ability to afford outdoor gear and now working with outdoor brands in the outdoor industry and having more access to the gear that enables us to rock climb and mountain bike and, and backpack safely. It, it's hard to describe to go from that one experience to this one and recognizing how limiting it can actually be for some people despite still being able to enjoy the outdoors even with what it is that you have. I believe both can coexist. You're always still my breath away. Yeah. You'll always be I love my niece and nephew deeply. I want to give them the same experiences that I've been fortunate enough to have, to not only find healing, but also to find joy and to be reminded of the connection that we all have with these spaces. I do believe that people, human beings, are not separate from nature. As a society, we're very disconnected from that concept. In that connection, we can also find healing for the things we've gone through as people. Like we've all been through something. And being in this outdoor space can be very healing. I am now trail running and I absolutely love it and it's the thing I'm doing the most outside. I love doing it because it's bringing me a sense of healing to some past trauma. And because of that, it's helped me feel more in control. It's helped me feel more of that self-esteem. It's incredible and to do it with my dogs is also a really great opportunity. One of my favorite things about being outside is being outside with my dogs. They, animals, creatures, living things are a good reminder, um, a good inspiration to see how they interact with this space around them, that they aren't separate from it. They interact within it to see them out there being curious about their environment, exploring their environment, and getting to be who they are in these spaces is a good reminder of, I believe, how us as human beings should also be enjoying the outdoors. And they're just, they're just so cute. They're really fun <laughs> to be outside with. They just remind me of, of what kind of joy in life we're meant to live. People were taking care of these lands before us, and I believe that deserves the, all the reverence and respect. And as a result, I do believe that like, getting more people outside, getting more people that access that we all deserve and need will bring back some of that connection to the space. Thank you.